Do you want to build a water-cooled PC but a little scared or confused on what to do? Trust me, I was the same way when I first started. So BitsPower created the Titan 1 series that has everything you need to build a water-cooled PC without needing all the additional tools and without doing all the hours and hours of research. This is the BitsPower Titan 1 2.0 water cooling kit that has everything you need to build your water cooled PC in the popular Lee and Lee O11D case. You can't even see me. So let's take a look at this bad boy. Let's unbox it. Let's uh, take a look at what's included inside here. Let's see what's pre-installed. Let's do this. All right, so opening up the box, we have this box, and what comes inside this thing is the CPU block right here, and it already has the AM4 or the AMD socket here pre-installed, and it also has thermal paste applied on this block already, so that's nice. And then it has uh, the mounting hardware, and then we have uh, the back plane that goes on the back of the motherboard, and then um, we have 1700 LGA for the 12,000 series uh, CPU, and we have the regular uh, Intel uh, bracket here. And then we also have the included uh, drain tube with fitting here, so when you wanna drain it, already comes with the tube and then it has pre uh, bent 16 millimeter PETG tubes and then um, we have two fittings right here and these ones are kind of cool because what you'll do is you'll put it on here that you'll uh, put this on the distro uh, this will allow it to adjust and will move you know whatever you need to so that's pretty cool it can move move up here or it can move back here so these fittings are really cool and then um, it also includes uh, these two fittings right here that you'll mount that directly to the CPU block. Let's take a look at what comes pre-installed. And so Lee and Lee, if you've never had this case before, this top panel, unscrew it, pop this top off right here, and then you can go ahead and take off these glass panels on the side right here. And uh, you can also do the front one and also the back one when you need to. Uh, but let's take a look uh, what's pre-installed. So right here you can see uh, the distro block right here. And this thing, uh, will hold the water and then I will pump it through the system. So you got that pre-installed. You also have um, some fittings. Uh, so it looks like we have the radiator is already pre-installed with three fans right here on intake. And then um, you have the more fittings, 90 degree fitting right here with some tubes. So that's already pre-installed. So all that stuff is already pre-installed and so you don't have to worry about any of that. And what BitsPower did too to make it compatible with a lot of motherboards is it made this little uh, CPU in and uh, out, they made it adjustable so you can move it up and down, so which is really nice. Not only can you move it out and in, you can also move this up and down so you can get a nice straight line and make it compatible with most main motherboards. This kit does not come with a GPU block because usually the block has to fit a specific GPU. Uh, it does, however, have inlets on the distro plate if you do want to put in a water-cooled GPU, though. And it also includes a drain fitting right here, so whenever you want to go ahead and drain it, um, you got this fitting right here. Things that don't come in the box, but I recommend you get. Uh, also, though, Newegg does have a package, and maybe they're sold elsewhere, too. I think Micro Center or something. Kind of another kit uh, included, like, a whole bundle where it has this uh, Bits Power Digital Leak Detector, which uh, you're going to want this before you put in the liquid, and it leaks. Obviously, you're going to want to test to make sure that it doesn't. And then you're going to have coolant, and this is just the clear coolant. And then you're going to have a fill bottle. Also, this is uh, Bits Power, the 24-pin bypass connector so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook this up to your motherboard cable you have to run the pump and uh, cycle in the liquid I suggest buying that if you don't already have this stuff uh, some of the additional things that I got on top of that got some dye this is a dark blue dye so this has a clear coolant but you know if you want some color here's some dye that we're gonna put in here stay tuned for the step-by-step -step build guide the time-lapse build and how I painted the case 